Hi, my name is Celeste Morley. I'm an infectious disease doctor at St. Louis Children's Hospital, and I run a research lab um, studying the host immune response to infection at the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis. I've been coming to AAI meetings since 2006, before I started my postdoctoral fellowship at St. Louis, uh, and they've really helped me in my career in that I have um, been able to keep up with what's going on in the immunology field, both in the area that I particularly research and in immunology as a whole. It's been fascinating to see how the trends come and go. Um, you know, toll receptors are a thing and now metabolism is a thing. And it's really useful to come to a broad meeting like this where you can pick and choose from a variety of topics to really keep up with what's going on in, in all of immunology, not just my specific area of interest. Additionally, it's great for networking. I, um, there are people who I've seen every other year since I started coming in 2006, and this is often the only opportunity I have um, to catch up with friends and colleagues from across the country. So I, I love coming to AAI. I come at least every other year, um, both for the, the, the science, which is fantastic, um, keeping up with what's new, um, and for keeping up with my friends. I love science. I love figuring out puzzles. I love figuring out how uh, cells think, how they make decisions. I study, uh, in particular, a bundling protein called L-plastin that controls how cells move and engage with their environment. And just trying to figure out why the cell needs it and what it does and what's special about it is just fascinating. Um, you know, I think science is a great field for children who like to take their toys apart when they were little. I used to do that when I was little and I'm still doing it now. I just like to take the cells apart and figure out what makes them tick. Um, I'm particularly interested in understanding why some people can fight off infections and why some don't. Again, I'm a pediatric infectious disease doctor, and so we see many children who get mild infections and they do fine, and then we see some children who get critically ill and require a ton of support to fight off the same infections that most people can handle easily. And we don't know why. We don't have good answers for their parents. We don't know how to cure them. We don't know how to keep it from happening again. And so I am really trying to focus my research in understanding how does the cell how does the cell work effectively um, for some children, and, and how can we use that knowledge to then help children who are struggling um, to make their lives better and to get them better faster? And I think most of my aha moments have come when I've gotten answers that I, I didn't expect, where I, I set up a system to answer a question, and I, and I got a result, and I took it to my postdoc advisor, and I said, I've never seen this before. And he said, I've never seen this before either. Let's go figure that out. Um, I think that would probably be one example of an aha moment, where we, we realized the protein that I work on, L-plastin, doesn't just control activation, but also controlled motility. And, and recognizing the motility phenotype was kind of a, a, an aha moment. Um, another aha moment came when I was challenged to show that the knockout mouse that I work on, which is missing this protein called L-plastin, could clear an infection. Uh, and so I picked Streptococcus pneumoniae, or pneumococcus, which is a common childhood pathogen, and we infected our mice. And I had predicted that they would be more susceptible, but I thought they'd be more susceptible because of a B-cell defect, which means a late mortality, so five to seven days after infection. And instead, our mice killed over and died in two days which was a great aha moment, but not what I had predicted. And that's led us down a different path into looking at macrophage subtypes and why this protein controls development of certain kinds of macrophages, but not others. So in answer to the question of, of what motivates me in my field, I, th I think two things. First of all, I love children. Um, I love to spend time with children. I love to see healthy children. There's no greater joy, I think, as a pediatrician than having parents bring you a child who is sick and being able to help them through that and then three or four days later discharge a healthy child from the hospital. It's a fantastic feeling. Um, and, and I want to be able to do that more and I want to be able to do that faster and we want to be able to do that better. There are still too many children who suffer from infections that, we, that struggle, um, who get very sick and who sometimes live with lifelong um, consequences. And so what really drives me is trying to understand how we can manipulate and improve the human immune response so that we can make children better, faster, better. The most important thing about immunology is the understanding it brings to human disease. When I talk to um, medical students or residents who are trying to choose uh, subspecialties um, and they have an interest in immunology, I say, you know, you really, you really can't go wrong um, picking any subspecialty in medicine because immunology underlies almost every pathophysiological process uh, in, in human illness. So if you want to study, if you want to be a, a gastroenterologist and study inflammatory bowel disease, you need to know the immune system. If you want to be a neurologist and understand the human response to stroke or other um, brain injury, you need to know immunology. If you want to be a cardiologist and understand how the heart heals after a heart attack, you need to know immunology. So I think the most important thing about immunology is there's not a single aspect of human medicine that we can't improve by, by having a better understanding of the immune system.